is going for technocrats. Yeah. You know, this, such time. That, uh, this time mm. around, people who he thinks will deliver and move or help move his agenda, achieve his aim, which is going to be to the ultimate aim or uh, benefit of Nigerians. So, what do you think about that? Exactly. That's, that's where I'm going to. If you, there's no way you can remove Niger Delta from this issue. Mm. Right now, Niger Delta, it kind of represents Nigeria. So, we're saying it should not be like every other minister that you create. Every government comes and creates a minister. We're talking about the kind of minister that the people will accept. The kind of minister that will bring a change in that part of the world. Then it will affect Nigeria. Mm. What, I don't, what, what, what kind of, um, what, what um, kind of qualities are you looking for in, in a minister, especially yes. in the Niger Delta area? What, what do you think the president should be considering Good. before appointing somebody to that ministry? Yes, what he should be considering is the, peop the person that is close to the people. The person that is the people kind of person. Does he necessarily have to be resident in the, in the area, in the Niger well, Delta? Well, yes, there, are, there is one basic thing. The peculiar nature of that area. You cannot bring an outsider to solve that problem. Okay. It must be an insider. It must be somebody who understands the terrain, who understands the hurting, who understands that violence is not helping anymore, who understands that it is time for change, a generational change. Somebody who has been participating in this program that affects that area and the, the rest of the world. So we are saying we have people like that. And that have been working close to these people, close to the system, seeing that look, we must change for good. Yeah, now, but, but some of the commentary we've heard from eminent Nigerians.